Welcome to Leftovers. Leftovers is all about two things. One, giving you a quick recap of what we talked about here on Sunday morning here at Echo Meadows. And two, giving you an additional thought or two about that topic for you to keep following in your walk with God this week. This past Sunday, we talked about human authority versus divine authority. And whose authority are you going to subject yourself to? Human authority, mankind, or divine authority, God's authority, His will. Which one are you going to follow? On Sunday, we discussed this idea of human authority versus divine authority, looking at Matthew 21. Take a listen. Human authority is subjective. It's based upon how I feel. It can be variable. It can be constantly changing. Divine authority is objective. Divine authority is verifiable truth. We must choose today whose authority we will be under and whose authority we will choose to follow. But the question is, how do we live under God's authority? How do we play that out? How do we live lives according to God's authority? The reality is we must obey God rather than man. Take a listen. God's word has to be the authority by which we stand on. It can't be based on what I think, what I feel, what my opinion is, what your opinion is. It is what does the word of God say? But let me tell you something, in the matters of divine authority, we have no choice. We must obey God rather than men. Remember when they were thrown in the prison? We order you, we command you not to speak the name of the Lord anymore. What was their response? We must obey God rather than men. This story comes from Acts chapter 5. It's a really cool story. You see, the apostles are being persecuted and are thrown into prison. And eventually, once they're presented before the Sanhedrin, the, the Jewish ruling council, the council is very quick to say, stop teaching about Jesus in this city. But I love how it says that that Peter and the apostles step up and they reply, we must obey God rather than man or rather than human beings. You see, the Jewish leaders, the human authority, are reprimanding them and giving them strict orders not to teach about Jesus and not to to fill the city and talking about Jesus. But the apostles say we must obey God, we must place divine authority above human authority in our lives as Christ followers. So what is it going to take for you and for me to follow God and to subject ourselves to His authority? As we see here in Acts 5, it's going to take boldness. It's going to take courage. It's going to take strength to sometimes stand up against the human authority that is telling us not to listen and follow the divine authority. I encourage you to follow God's will. I encourage you to to humbly accept that God's position is higher than your position and to subject yourself to His authority. Be bold, be courageous in this endeavor to follow what God wants you to do. I want to leave you with Joshua 1.9 where it says to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord our God will be with us wherever we go. And that is today's Leftovers.